What is up guys? We got some vehicle maintenance going on on the 2014 Ram 2500. Uh, we got the oil change today. Going to change the oil and oil filter as well as install the Femco oil drain system. So come check it out. If you're interested in that, give it a look. We'll get after it. Before we get started, wanted to do a little rundown of some tools I use for the oil change on the Ram 2500 with the Cummins diesel. Uh, first off, this oil filter wrench, definitely helpful for breaking that oil filter loose. And then this oil filter block off tool, or plug basically. So once you get the oil filter off, you screw this in to the top. It allows you to turn that filter sideways and pull it out without dumping a bunch of oil everywhere. Um, so that's definitely helpful there. Also, you can pre-fill your new filter as you put it in. You don't spill all that oil out. So use those two for the filter. And then for the uh, plug, on this one anyway, uh, standard, standard oil change, just a 3H drive. But today is going to be a little different. All right, guys, wanted to do a quick little, little bit better look at this uh, valve, basically is what it is. Um, it's got a little spring in there and it's activated when you screw the drain tube on this uh, see the part with the o-ring right there that it acts as a plunger to push the valve open so as you screw it in there the plunger on the inside of the valve pushes up and allows oil to drain through this gap here whenever all your oil is drained Unscrew it. That seals with an O-ring there. Appears to be a, a good quality oil resistant O-ring. And then on the other side you also have an O-ring on this sealing surface and even inside the cap you have an O-ring. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty pretty well sealed system. And it's much lower profile than some of the other quick drain systems I've seen. Like I think Fumoto and then uh, I think there's another German company, but the Fumoto valve is like a quarter turn ball valve that sticks out maybe an inch, inch and a half or so. Maybe not that much. I haven't had my hands on one, so I can't really speak to that, honestly. But all the other ones I've seen is stick out uh, below the oil pan a good bit. So I picked this one because it's a low profile, um, low profile piece. Uh, doesn't stick down a lot less of a chance of getting hit by something kicking up off the road and breaking off um, so it looks really good this is the femco it comes with a new crush washer to install to make sure you're sealed to your oil pan this is the 18 millimeter by 1.5 threads uh, so i will put a link to this via amazon affiliate link in the description uh, using those Amazon affiliate links helps me out a little bit. I get a little bit of a kickback for sending business that way. Um, but the price for you is the same. You'll pay the same that I paid for it. Um, and on that note, I paid full price for this. This wasn't given to me or anything like that. Um, it's just something I wanted to try out. So I ordered it from Amazon myself. So we'll get it installed and uh, we'll see how it goes.
All right, guys. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today. Got the oil change, got that Femco oil drain system installed. Uh, no leaks, nothing like that. It's looking good so far. We'll see how it does on the next oil change when we actually put it to use. Uh, but for right now, it's just got to be a plug. So we'll keep an eye on it, make sure nothing starts leaking or anything over time. Uh, but it's looking good right now. Make sure when you change your oil to dispose of your oil properly. Uh, most auto parts stores will take it. So do the right thing. Dispose of your oil property. Put it up properly. There we go. And uh, that's about it, guys. Anyway. Y'all have a good one. We'll catch you next time down here on the South Coast.